Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kakerins, and we're continuing playing Final Fantasy 16. If you're new to this channel, what you're going to find here is me uh, reacting for the first time to a variety of games. I, I predominantly like to play story-based one-person games. And uh, right now we're doing Final Fantasy 16. We're on a big Final Fantasy kick, so there'll be more Final Fantasy games after this one. So I do really enjoy these games, and I'm really enjoying this one. This one is different, but it's got so much to offer, and I'm having a blast with it. Uh, we just defeated Titan, or really technically we defeated uh, Hugo Kupka, and uh, we've acquired his abilities, and I think I need to start using them some more uh, because they've got a great defense barrier that's apparently just as effective if not more effective than dodging so i'm going to try using that uh at this point moving forward and uh see what we can do with that i do want to let everybody know that um you do have the ability if you haven't done so already to become a member of the channel and by becoming a member of the fa of the channel not only can you support me but you'll have access to certain perks like you can have super chat and you can have special comments uh, highlighted and you can use uh, you'll you'll get certain uh, badges to identify how long you've been a member uh, so if you're interested in that you know it would help me out a lot if you want to become a member of the channel uh, sometime soon after we hit our magic threshold of a thousand subscribers we will start having some member exclusive content so you don't want to miss that out and you could be the very first if you're so inclined so but if you haven't subscribed yet please do so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the videos drop and we can have some fun together all right I know that I'm ready, and I think you're ready. So, let's go. All right, so before we begin doing some of these side quests that I know that there's some side quests that are available now, what I want to do is take a look at our abilities, because I'm going to learn a little bit more about the, um, these, these Titan. So, A is going to be the Titanic block. Black enemy attacks when a guard is timed perfectly. You can immediately use square to launch up to three counter attacks. So you can block it. So that's just a block. But if you block it at the right time, then you can. Oh, see, that's what I want to start doing. Okay. That's excellent. And I think I do have it equipped. Yes, I do have it equipped. All right. So I'm going to have to start using that a little bit more. That's that's kind of fun. That's fun indeed. All right. So we do have some side quests that are available. We would need to uh, visit the infirmary for main things, but let's do some side quests that are down here. Shouldn't you be getting some rest soon? Should I get some rest? No, I don't need no rest. I don't need no stinking rest. Um, is it in here? Oh, but that's going to be... I don't want to do that one yet. I want to, um... I want to head over here to this one. Because if I go in there, I'm afraid I'm going to trigger a cutscene. So let's go over here first. Let's, let's go this way. I mean, I'm not 100% positive that visiting the infirmary is going to automatically create you know the the, the next stage but i, I want to i don't want to take any chances let's do this first do you have a moment sid a team of curse breakers has gone missing near northreach mm. which team coals they were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market they were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblin a curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion but Release a oh, stolas. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that. Oh yeah. I know the work is dangerous, but I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed before they go out? I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. Aw. What risks She's taking it personally. Because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that. I'm... That should be enough to go on. 
If they were there, Torgo will track them down. That's right. Our 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 faithful boy. All right, let's go get let's go get these fellers. Where do we need to go? Is it in, in the main map? Um. Oh well, no. Oh, here it is. Northreach. There we go. All right, they're somewhere nearby. Hey, what is that? Is that a box on the other side that I've never seen? Give me that. Black blood. Do 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 do. I could ride my chocobo, but I don't want to. Cause it's really close. It's it's like right here. We're we're just right here. Why would we why would we ride a chocobo when it's like right here? The dragon's airy. Where might they be? Quest destination nearby. Oh, there they are. Oh, there, fellers. Cole, I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, uh oh. Now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Mm hmm. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. Oh. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now, where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have right. duties to attend to here. See to the injured. <laughs> That's right. Climb to the rescue. <laughs> All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. Oh, no. I we can't let that happen. You. No. And Sid, it's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. <laughs> All right. Where are we going now? Oh, they're right there. Well, boy, I mean, it's not like they're far away. They're trying to get into the carriage. Okay, let's see. Well, that didn't work. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. But I don't like that at all. This one. Boy, I gotta I do have to use that at the right time though. Okay, so using it at the right time is <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's awesome. Let's just do this for the time being. There's the parry I needed. Very good. And we'll do this. To me, boy. We'll do this one too. Might as well. Let's just use them all. 
Oh, he broke it. That's not good. All right, I need to use a potion. I see that. Boy, the, so the timing is definitely hard on these. Oh, there we go. Alright. And you're dead. Alright, I like that. I like that block and three vicious punches right after that. That's kind of cool. I like that. Bone necklace. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Clive. A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Perhaps. Ah. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom. Safety. The life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you... You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Oh, when come on. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Yeah, it's amazing okay. how if you've been a slave no your whole life, you just don't have any expectations, right? I mean, that's just a sad existence. All right, let's return back to the hideaway. Where is she? Is she up here this time? The yes. Have been up to their old tricks again. All right. Sid, welcome back. A Stolas from the Dame arrived not long after you left. If I'd just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. Or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. Cole and the others got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. Oh, she's beating herself up. Sends people into danger without considering all the risks. I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole, I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you for your faith in me. She needs to get I'm some confidence. Sure I, I think she's doing a fine job. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play, and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. <laughs> Quest complete. The weight of command. Like it. The breath of fire rising flames. That's an accessory. Okay. Very cool. 
Very cool indeed. All right, so now I guess I do need to go into the infirmary because that yeah. is where the next uh, the next thing is anyway. So let's go in here. Ah, Clive. Talia, how's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. <laughs> oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. All right, but there is a side quest right here. Okay, so that's cool. So all it did was just give us some lore to move forward in the main story, but we can do this here. What's the physical need? The man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Well, you survived, I know, but there are as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. Hmm. But until that day, a brand is a burden, and we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation yes. may be dangerous. But it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. I oh, know. Is there going to be like a... Other way. Some special... Griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must well, be what's done. what's the quest? I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that needs okay. doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something... I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Of course I'm going to do this. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find. If you know where to look, okay. fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just bright blue blossoms. Bright blue blossoms. I think we've done a quest similar to this before. All right, let's go. All right. Let's go. We need to go to Rosaria. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so they are down this way. The river was easy enough to find. Now for those herbs. What are these things? All right. Attack. <laughs> we'll do this. We'll probably knock a lot of them down. Boink. Get those dump things out of the air. Do, 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 do. Do, do. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, she got a double attack there. All right, you're dead. And you're dead. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, is this where it is? I just pick him. There's one. 
This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. Is there more? There it is. All right. Looks like uh, we have to keep the infirmary stock for a while. Lilac. Hopefully. All right, I think we're good. Let's go back. Those look like evil, gross chugabos. All right, after we do this, I guess we need to go over to Harpocrates and uh, see what's going on with the history and all that jazzio. There you go, Road 3G. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Here you go. Only the usual. Oh, yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. Very good, then. That is, unless I... You'll do fine. <laughs> Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. Sorry. I'm still terrified. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the oh, so it's not just like removing blood. a tattoo. Failure means death. And even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. Mm -hmm. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb. Knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die. They're willing to fight. Mm -hmm. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy. But neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? No, it's I don't. Natural. For a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Oh. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. So I, I love these backstories. I really, really do. Because it takes you off the main quest. But it just, it supplements everything. It makes everything become more full, more robust. Um, more deep and gives you a desire to continue on with the main story. All right, so we need to go this way so that we can get down to... Yeah. What's everyone whispering about? Harpocrates. It's back. Things are going to get interesting around here. Jill, That's fine. That All right. Clive, hey, Torgal. where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father... Brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. Okay. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and well, seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. What's Clive, the theory? I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. An animal a native frost to the wolf. far northern reaches of Valisthea, in one of our oldest bestiaries. I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. 
Fenrir? Fenrir the Frostwolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva. Okay. A girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. Oh! What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but... Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Interesting! Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Mm. Right. Though Torgal's power is his own, his latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. Huh. Get you, Torgle. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. <laughs> and Love regarding it. your original concern, you need not fear for Torgle's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that doesn't sound right. There Mid. You are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. All righty. What are they working on? We get to go down? I want to see what's down there. <gasps> Isn't it brilliant? It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Okay. Then I look forward to seeing them. What kind of wonders? I wonder what kind of things she's going to make. This is going to be interesting to find out. All right, so this now is that done. That's settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. Can we go this way? No, this is, yeah, I don't think so. All right, let's go see Vivian. <gasps> Such a bizarre scenario, oh, though, with Kupka nice. because that stranger picked him up, called us Mirthos. So that's kind of like the name that he's given. Is it a name or is it a like descriptive term? Like, you know, calling somebody. Just stay aside, my young Padawan. Uh, you know, like a descriptive term or is Mirthos a name that that this dude has given Clive? How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circle. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? <laughs> Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. So what are we doing uh, next, Clive, though? Have you got a minute? Sure. We, um, have a guest. A guest? A guest? A guest? A guest? We have a guest? Be our guest. Who's here? For your trouble. It was a pleasure. Oh, you know, inside. It's his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Byron. Clive, my boy. <laughs> Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. <laughs> Tap a cask. <laughs>
<laughs> Meanwhile, Twin Side, the Holy Empire of Simbrek. Seat of the Imperial Court. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. <laughs> Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May, May the blessing of the crystals go with you. <laughs> Very good. This child of hers is crazy weird. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. Dion's fire. The men of the Fists will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they hmm. can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Uh, your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much okay, so as Hugo's not dead. Obviously, we know that. Clash between Bahamut and Titan. It is not to be. And what of your subjects, your radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another, another can, be can be bred. Be oh my gosh. For every home that burns, another can be built. The empire will live on. He does not care about his people at all. Dion? Yes, sir. What's up with these flowers he's always holding? What is the deal? It's bizarre. Prepare for battle. But sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return it's almost like he put a funeral flower on the breast of his own son. Almost like he's sending him to his grave. Isn't that the type of flower that you put on grave sites? If that is your wish, your radiance. I shall depart at once. And she's happy because what she wants is him to die so that her child can be the next heir to the throne. MacGregor, forgive you.
What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So are they saying that they don't trust Dion? true. You disappoint me, Dion. Okay, yeah. Interesting. That kid is weird, man. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? We gotta go see Uncle to Byron. Is he down below? Yeah, he's down below. I gotta take the thing down. The little ones have been at just one thing after another around here. Do, 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 do. All right, Uncle Byron. Ah, my dear nephew, <laughs> how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith to Port Isolde. I was. <laughs> I... Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. Hmm. All right. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. Yes. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. Hmm. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed Drake's to mend Fang. his hands? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. Hmm. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. 
Hmm. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. The Royalists did this. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Hmm. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. Hmm. You have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield, and you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you <laughs> part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberward on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but okay. think about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. All right. So I do still need to speak with Byron. You just have those things. Still read those on my own outside. Right. That's just the air eight stone. What is this? Oh, the thousand tomes. I can read up more things there. Okay. All right. I'll be right back though. I need to refill my coffee. So I'll be right back. Coffee resupplied. Let's go. It's finished outfit in a little workshop, boy. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't nope. worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The lands around the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way? You ask. Rosina Delamel. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who hmm. is she? An old associate of Sid's, and only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Delamel Inn. Okay. We've heard nothing from her since he died, but I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able okay. to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So. Uh... What about your uncle? I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Gav, Otto, <laughs> I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. <laughs> that was a funny statement. Okay. So let's return to Byron. All right, uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. 
So I doubt that Byron can fight, can he? I mean, well, then again, Gav kind of fought. Oh, this is a new destination on the map. Uh, the Velcroy Desert. All right, let's go. The Nebecian Republic. We're at the desert. I was a young man when last I walked this path. <laughs> There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. All right, let's go. Let's go on an adventure. The Riddle of the Sands. All right, all right. It's like there's fun things to do along the way here. All right. We got to get all the way to there. That's... Oh, this, this, this looks fun. Our destination lies over that dune beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sand. Sure, I bet. Knock him on the ground. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Dang it. There we go. Oh, I leveled up. How about that? That's nifty. That's a nifty little trick. All right. We need to go this way. Is there anything exciting along the way? I mean, I feel like I want to explore so much cool stuff. Hey, boysos. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, Ooh, you and I were when I was a young warthog. Accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. Well, you left to come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were just so before eager Joshua to be was born. But you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home. I could ride my chocobo right now. Saddle. This is true. <laughs> I shall but. never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. <laughs> uh, oh, so we've got to go like around these these areas. We've got to go this way to go up and around. Can we jump on top of these cliffs? Can we cut through this path right here? Perhaps. Ooh, what's this? Oh, just some gill. Nothing too important. Oh, this is just like the cut through. Hello, fellers. Don't mind me. My name's just Clive. Who do you think those soldiers were? I mean? Ooh, interesting. It's out here. Oh, what are those? Blood fangs. They look fun. All right. Do, 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 do. It is quite the distance, isn't it?
Let's ride our chocobo. Hello there, buddy. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil in. Do you know, this heat has given me Ooh, quite a thirst. This place looks really nice. Drink before we press on. Faster. Oh, I have to get off. Okay, that's fine. What you see there? Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And hmm. such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? <laughs> I like his uncle, Lord Byron. He's a fun Not dude to hang out with. Well, Dogs aren't allowed inside. Yeah, go play with your friends that you were just growling at. when his mouth's full what do you <laughs> recommend well if you're after something light we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey chocobo Two soup. Bowls of that then an ale right you are hey go coming your pal <laughs> would you rather be my squire Where's she going? Why do I feel like she knows something? Who's this? Oh my gosh. How? Oh, oh Josh. Your Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Theon has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. Wow. You do understand. How crazy. Yes, Josh and Clive right. are in the same building you must right at least now. Agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Mm -mm -mm. Is this where is she gonna see Clive and be like, oh my gosh, I know who he is? So this goes to the group. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin. Well, 
Never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. Mm hmm. That'll be Cooker then. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We've a long way to go. Hey, you. <laughs> That was a mistake, Lord Byron. I'm sorry. I love you, but, you know, Uncle. sometimes you... Sorry. <laughs> she doesn't know who they're going after. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. <laughs> you two are travelers, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. <laughs> Friend. We gotta fight him. <laughs> That's great! to lose. Friend. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. It's the outlaw. Take him. Try it. I'm going to use my special techniques abilities. Come on. Doing it at the wrong time. I like that a lot. Come on, do it again. Nope. There we go. Do 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 do. <laughs> All right, let's just do this and get it over with. Whoosh. Mortal blow, there we go. You're finished. And you're all dead. We did it. We did it. I, I'm, try, I'm trying to practice using that block technique. That that's nice. I like that. We hear the crowd, but there's no crowd in the room right now. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, Byron. For your trouble. Uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. Is she going to say, your brother is downstairs? Now's our chance. I... 
Oh no. Your grace? I'm fine. <sighs> she didn't even tell him that Clive was down there. Man. Well, you destroyed the place. Oh, what is that all about? Oh, that means that he's nearby? Clive? Does he sense? They can sense each other? Is he going to see him as he goes out the window? Didn't eat his veggies. What is it now? He never liked his veggies. It, <laughs> it's nothing. Let's go. I like it. So what do we got to do here? It's interesting that he can sense him. Well, we didn't know where to find Kupka before. We do now. The Royalists said to themselves, their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Of course. All right, and this is where we're going to bring this episode to a close. All right, really, really cool. All right, so we're hanging out with Lord Byron. How exciting is that? That's cool. He's a fun fellow. Little, like, he's just got a, a good... Um, difference of character, kind of playful, kind of fun. Um, definitely loves to eat and drink. He, he, he loves his food and beverages, that, which is really, really fun. And um, we are in a new part of the world. So this is fun. So we're still pursuing Hugo and we're in the desert, which is a new place. So it's kind of fun. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to see what happens next. So thanks for following me on this journey and joining me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Guys, as of right now, we are, uh, I think we have um, like it, it's less than a hundred. I think we have like 96 more subscribers necessary to get fully monetized. So please, please, if you haven't subscribed, please do so hit the notification bell and, uh, we can, uh, join ourselves. That had made no sense whatsoever. We can have fun together as we play and, uh, enjoy the game. So anyways, until next time, take care, everybody. Bye.